Search and rescue efforts are underway tonight after Hurricane Ida pummels the coast of Louisiana. Now a tropical depression, it brought heavy rain, strong winds, and flash flooding across the state. Destruction is widespread, as you can see here, and more than a million people are without power. So far, one person is confirmed dead, but officials warn the death toll is expected to rise. We've got a live look for you right now from New Orleans where the rain is still falling and organizations across Virginia are beginning to head south to help those impacted by the storm. 10 News reporter Annie Schroeder joins us now live in the newsroom and she shows us how one group is also preparing for the potential response right here at home. Annie? Well, John and Lindsay, the American Red Cross has sent hundreds of volunteers to uh, locations impacted by Ida. They say it's the best way that they can help people who are in dire need right now. Now, they started sending volunteers to Louisiana last week. The organization has also helped respond to several other natural disasters this year, including flooding and wildfires out west. It's been a busy couple of months for organizations like God's Pit Crew, which has also responded to disasters all across across the country. The nonprofit hopes to send 40 to 50 volunteers to Louisiana sometime next week. It also sent out tons of donations and supplies from its Danville location this morning. The Red Cross says the best way to help them continue to serve those impacted by the hurricane is to volunteer, donate money or donate blood. Now ahead of potentially severe weather coming into our area in the coming days, they do advise downloading the Red Cross's app. It can show you where shelters are if they decide to open them here in our area. Live in the newsroom tonight, Annie Schroeder, 10 News, working for you.